Hey peeps, what's up Manchi here, back with another video and a few days back we made a video about Dynamic Island from the iPhone 14 Pro on your MIUI devices and before that we had made a video about any Android as well. So both those videos are linked in the description of the video and that being said there is another application which is now available and this is how that one looks like. So that is what we are going to cover in this video. Now do note at the time of recording this video this specific application works only when you connect your phone to a charger or when you connect a Bluetooth device. However, I'm pretty sure the developer is working on enhancing this Dynamic Island application so you get more iOS style features. Now, all the applications, all the files, everything is linked in the description of the video. So without any further delay, let us go ahead and install this Dynamic Island on your Android devices without having to root them. So here it is, this is the Pixel 6a which right now is running Android 13 and of course link to the application which will let you have dynamic island on any Android without root as in the description of the video and then the next thing you need is a file manager application which will let you install APKs. I am using FX file manager, you are free to use any file manager application which you want to. So we will go into main storage and here and we will go into download and this is the apk which we are looking for dynamic island we are going to say install once this has installed we are going to go ahead and open the application here it is this has been translated in english now as i mentioned earlier this is a chinese application the direct source is in the description of this video as well so if you select test animation bam here it is this is your test animation you can configure the size of the punch hole using this slider in case you want to and the other thing which you can configure is how far away from the top it is so you can configure that as well there it is you can see the punch hole is moving around then you have to enable these permissions so first of all select over here and then we need to look for this specific application which we have downloaded and give it the permission so dynamic island display over other apps enable then we can go back and check out the other permissions the next permission is accessibility and for Android 13, I cannot give this permission, but if you are running Android 12, you do need to give this permission. And the next one is Bluetooth permission also needs to be given. And that is it. Last but not the least, make sure you enable the feature as well. So for Android 13, it is going to ask you, do you want to let Dynamic Island send you notifications? We are going to say allow and the feature is turned on and now that the feature is turned on let us go ahead and try to connect our charger and see what happens bam there it is charging notification in the building working absolutely fine and similarly your bluetooth notification will also work like a boss and there it is peeps that is how you get the dynamic island notifications on any android device without having to root it and that will do it for this video Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.